This is an incoming transmission from the Jersey Shore. This is Financial Insanity with Scott McLean, powered by McLean Advisory Group. Today you'll hear some of the most important financial information and wealth building techniques available anywhere. Let's get this party started, huh? Do you have a question for Scott and the team? Am I, am I, am I on the air? 609-488-4646. That's 609 609- 488-4646. We'll get that information to them by radio. Now, Financial Insanity with Scott McClain. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. We've all heard that before. Maybe it was a grandparent, a parent. Maybe we're passing that on to our own kids and grandkids. And what does this mean for our finances? How do we keep from counting our chickens before they hatch in our nest egg? See what we did there? Pretty cute. Well, you're going to find out today, Scott McLean and financial insanity, out of the box thinking for your financial sanity. So, Scott, what do you think of when you hear don't count your chickens before they hatch as it applies to retirement income? So not as it applies to my farm. Yeah. All right. So (laughs) obviously you heard noise from our farm, but the neatest thing is, you know, we all depend on income coming in. And when you're in retirement or nearing retirement, uh, I had a phone call today from a couple that just moved to uh, Green Cove Springs, Florida. Mm. And this couple uh, was trying to plan the retirement. So counting your chickens before they hatch is we definitely want to have a nice income. But what if something happens? What if you get sick and disabled and you what if you retire? What if you get fired? When we when we talk about Social Security, of course, Are you thinking about, well, what if my spouse takes it first and I take mine later? Great option. But on the other side of the coin, when you're thinking about taking your Social Security, what if your spouse dies and you lose that option? So when you're planning for Social Security, Alex, the biggest challenge I find is they don't look at holistically looking, I call it the three-legged stool, your Social Security your current investments and your retirement investments, or maybe your pension. And you must really delve into questions like that uh, when you're planning your retirement because you're trying to count your chickens before they hatch, but what if something happens? So you need to ask a lot of different variables. I think this is very, very important, Alex. Absolutely. And and Scott, when we're talking specifically about Social Security and now not counting your chickens before they hatch, the uh, easy thing to think about is the cost of living adjustment. And this is made each year. <laughs> and I hear you laughing. And we it's get going up. Yeah. Well, we got an estimate from the uh, Senior Citizens League. And no, that's not, uh, you know, the softball league or anything. But <laughs> there could be a 9.6 percent increase in Social Security payments next year. But we don't want to just assume that and make plans based on that, right, Scott? No, I would run the numbers just for giggles. I would really think about 7 to 9%. Now, they're saying about uh, 87 or perhaps 9 So, again, counting the chickens for the hatch. Um, just be glad they have Social Security. Uh, be glad that uh, if you're taking it now, you're getting Social Security. Uh, but but use that in your numbers if you want. Just use a quick thing. Maybe an extra average is about an extra $150 plus or minus the 10 bucks. It's about 150 bucks is the average. Well, and you know, there's still a lot of data to be collected, and and before that official cola is is announced, so that that could all go down. And as far as counting on Social Security for income, I mean. How much should we be counting on that as we move forward? Well, you need to really, if if you're listening right now, grab yourself a pen, uh, paper, or pencil. If you simply go to Social Security, you need to know your numbers. Uh, I could throw all sorts of numbers out there, but that'd be like a a doctor giving you a prescription for uh, a ailment you don't have. But I think the first part is to really go to socialsecurity.gov and it's called My Account. You can actually log in if you haven't done it before and watch your numbers, watch your income. They could be wrong. My Social Security. Go Google that. Upload, download the information. You can get your report right away. And uh, and I think this is very important for those of you that are divorced. And maybe you're trying to, maybe you should take your husband's or your wife's, or I should say your significant other, though I should say prior significant other, Take their social security. 
So should you or shouldn't you take their social security and let yours be delayed? This is very important. This report, go to mysocialsecurity.gov. Uh, I think it's called socialsecurity.gov and then my account. Download that report. If you can't get it, your report, you need to call Social Security. You need that report before you start counting your chickens, as we spoke about, mm -hmm. because uh, you could be way off. It, your report could be wrong. Very important. If you have questions, Scott may have answers for you. You can reach Scott and his team, 609-488-4646, 609-488-4646. Another area here where this lesson comes into play on how your retirement income is going to be taxed. Don't want to necessarily look at account balances and assume that's the amount we get to spend in retirement. Tell us, Scott, taxes, the impact that's going to have on retirement. Alex, this is so important if you're listening right now, why your advisor should be looking at your tax returns uh, or asking you questions on an annual basis. Why? Because one year your to Social Security may not be taxed at all because of the marginal tax bracket and the social security could be totally tax free. And then all of the sudden you hit a wonderful age, let's say 72, you've received tax free social security. And now because you're taking your required minimum distributions from your investments, it's now taxed up to drum roll, please. That's right. 85%, 85%. It could be taxed up to this is why, the tax returns is critical to look at when you're planning heading into retirement or while you're in retirement. And this is not an Einstein deal. It's very, very, it's very simple, especially if your advisor has been doing it for years. I'm sure your a, a tax preparer has been doing taxes for years, but their job is not to guide you. Their job is to do the taxes. This is where your financial advisor, uh, preferably a fiduciary that's looking for your best interest. If you're not, you're, you're looking at the wrong you're looking in the wrong neighborhood. And for those do-it-yourselfers, you need to pay attention to Social Security and how it's taxed. Now, to put the whole picture together, like you said, Alex, you've got your 401k, 403b, perhaps you have a 457. Uh, maybe you have a defined contribution plan. How is that taxed? That's called ordinary income. So when you're pulling money out of those vehicles, Perhaps you have other vehicles, let's say a non-qualified account, a joint account, maybe money you've been saving on the side. When you design your retirement for efficiency, tax efficiency, as well as uh, less taxation, perhaps your spouse's lights are going dim, which account should you use? Perhaps your spouse is now disabled and you're pulling money to pay for a in-home nursing. You see, Alex, how many choices there are. So I, 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 I'm talking on the radio to you, you listeners right now, I'm speaking to you because you have choices to make and everybody is not cookie cutter. I hate financial planning shows where they give you what to do, but everybody's not the same. You know, if you want some ideas or some thoughts or some concerns, please don't put this off because when you make a choice for social security, when you turn on your pension plan and make choices for pension. When you start pulling money out of your accounts, which account do you pull it out from? This is why it's important. Write this down. This is, please, please do yourself a favor. Write this down. Ready? 609-488-4646. Write this down. 609-488-4646. Because I'll be able to help guide you. You give uh, me a call off the air at our uh, radio station here, 609-488-4646, because you might have questions, and I guarantee you I will have answers. Why do I say guarantee? Because if I don't, I'll find them out for you. How's that? Or I'll lead you to someone who can, because this is something you're making a decision to retire. You look at all your investment accounts and how, where, how much do you pull out of your accounts so you can minimize taxes. Well, and, and Scott, the whole topic today, uh, talking about not counting chickens before they hatch is all about not making assumptions, not assuming you're going to be okay or that you're going to be, you know, not okay. And, right. and this is where Scott bringing you in, bringing in a, a professional, whether it's a first or a second or a third opinion, but just that right. you don't want to make these assumptions. And, and you, you alluded to it, but there's just so many details and so many codes and so many rules and, and tax rates change 
you know, all the time? And, and how do you stay ahead of these things? And so you're not just being reactive. And these are all things that uh, you can either think about or you can invest some time with someone to think about that for you. Well, you, Alex, you said the word reactive, and I think that's a very powerful question because most of us are reactive. It's like I want to go get something in the store. You go to McDonald's, you buy food that's maybe not that healthy for you. You're reactively going to fill your your hanger tank. Or I think my daughter calls me sometimes when I don't eat. You want to make a quick answer, but that quick answer could cause more ailments, more challenges, more problems. So you, you want to be proactive, not reactive. And, and this is a big, big point, counting your chickens before the hash. Uh, well, things do change. So you could plan now, but maybe later on in life, uh, another two or three months, all of a sudden, uh, I'll give you a case in point that, that, uh, that your child uh, has taken sick and I'm not being doom and gloomer here early in the morning, but your child has taken sick and perhaps maybe now you have to take care of the grandkids. Maybe now your retirement has changed. Maybe now you are putting the kids, the grandkids, and now you're raising the grandkids. I know of several clients like this. They're about to retire and all of a sudden now they become, like I should say parents, but now they're grandparents. But now the tax return changed because now they have some different exemptions. This is not a set it and forget it deal. This is not a deal where your advisor meets with you one time and uh, over the phone or on Zoom or in person and you're done. This is a plan that's fluid. Alex, we spoke in one of our shows about a financial plan. Anytime you put a financial plan is, to me, ridiculous if it's for your life because it's not, it's not stagnant. It's for that point in time. And then that's set, but things change. So a financial plan, you pay a financial planner to put a plan together. And today the plan looks wonderful, but six months down the line, the plan has changed. You pay all that money, but life has changed. This is why I think it's crazy to put a financial plan and put a period at the end of that word financial plan. Cause it is a moving target. Life is a moving target as we all know. Scott, if someone's sitting there, they have questions about Social Security or they have questions about taxes in retirement or how to generate retirement income, or if they just simply think, you know what, I've had one person looking at my stuff, maybe I need a second person, a, a second set of eyes, what should folks out there do? That makes sense to get a second set of eyes, whether it's with our firm here at McLean Advisory in Waretown, New Jersey, which we've been doing a proud supporter of WBNJ for so many years because we're able to educate people. But get someone who can take a look at your stuff holistically, which is why I said in the beginning of the show, go to your uh, Social Security, SSA.gov, download your Social Security report. Then, of course, when you meet with your, a, a second opinion or third opinion, or obviously you'll give us a call at our studio, 609-488-4646, to help guide you through these many, many decisions you're making that you think it's a simple decision, but simplicity, uh, I call it the disease of ease. It seems simple, but it could not be simple. So this is important to give us a call if we can help you off, off the air at our station here for any kind of questions you might have. We'd love to help you uh, we, as we've been doing now for 41 years, I guess now, Alex. Scott uh, welcomes you to try that number. Also, if you would rather go to the website, it is simply the phone number with .com at the end. So 609-488-4646.com. How simple is that? <laughs> Pretty darn easy. And yeah. you are listening to Financial Insanity, out of the box thinking for your financial sanity. More with Scott coming up. Stop for a moment and think about this. Do you know how much money in your 401k or IRA is actually yours? Or will the government take a bigger chunk than you thought? Remember, you still might owe taxes on that money, but do you have a plan to help make sure you don't pay more than you should? At McLean Advisory Group, we believe you deserve to keep more of what you've earned, which is why we're here to help you navigate the confusing world of retirement taxes. It's your money. You deserve to know what's at stake. Right now, taxes are historically low, but they won't be this low forever. So call the McLean Advisory Group team today so you don't miss out on this opportunity. 609-488-4646. That's 609-488-4646. You work hard for your money. 
and we'll work just as hard to help you keep it. McLean Advisory Group, 609-488-4646. Investment advisory services offered through Sound Income Strategies, LLC, an SEC-registered investment advisory firm. McLean Tax Advisory Group and Sound Income Strategies are not associated entities. Get all this stuff and you try to put it away like these hoarders on TV, it has an emotional attachment. So Scott, you're saying I don't have to keep every single drawing that my son has done? You're saying I could throw some of that away? The answer is yes. You can take a picture, oh. then throw it out. This is Financial Insanity with Scott McLean, presented by McLean Advisory Group. There is so much excitement around starting a brand new phase of life with your retirement. But if you're relocating to your dream retirement home, downsizing to a smaller house or condo, or simply wanting to declutter for this new time of life, you've got to face getting rid of stuff. And when it comes to <laughs> confronting your possessions later in life, retired professor David Eckert literally wrote the book on the subject. You really can't delegate the management of paper to other people. You have to look at all of it. And one piece of paper can stop you for hours because you'll discover something that needs to be done or somebody who needs to be contacted. And hours and hours of work on paper really doesn't reduce uh, the volume of uh, things that are in, for example, the desk or, or a kitchen. But it has to be done. So that would be a great place to start. So that was uh, Eckert talking about how that, you know, accumulating things, that's just a natural part of life. But in his book, he says at some point, all this has to come out and, and it can feel overwhelming. And that's where he says those piles of paper in your house, a good place to start uh, when you're, when really you're organized. You know, you can get so caught up in mail. You're looking through it. Get to the point. What's your focus? What's your time spent on? And it could, it could rip apart. I mean, time is so precious. It is so powerful. And as you get older, it becomes more precious. And you'll understand that, Alex, since yeah. you're a young man. But when you get older, the question is, how much time? Where should I spend my time? Maybe it should be for many of us listening to the station and me as well. Get to the gym. Spend time there versus going through papers and papers and papers. Again, get your stuff in order. Maybe uh, get your kids involved. And if somebody in the estate, when you talk about the dollars, the dreams, the dollars, and of course the uh, dynasty, maybe get your kids involved when it comes to your estate. But when it comes to getting your stuff and you're downsizing, this has an emotional attachment where people put it off or they don't want to get to it. They, and they get to sort through the belongings. This could be a lot of stuff. When I hear people want to move their move out of their house and downsize, Alex, you just mentioned the hardest part is sorting through all that stuff. Yep. And uh, other people say a cuss word, but we'll just say <laughs> stuff because it just keeps adding up. And then your your memory, you look at all this stuff and you try to put it away like these hoarders on TV. It has an emotional attachment. You know what? Let's get new emotion. Yeah. Let's change. Let's not look at history. Let's look at the future. What could it look like and feel like? And again, as he was saying, you get so caught up in the paperwork and this and that. Put it aside. Get to it. And maybe you're just stop looking at this crap. Be done with it. But again, the emotional attachment and sorting through belongings, this could really stop you from downsizing. Yeah. So, Scott, you're saying I don't have to keep every single drawing and, and little <laughs> coloring that my son has done. Are you, you're saying I could throw some of that away. For those of you who are acting like Alex being a knucklehead right now, the answer is yes, you can keep them. With the new phones, Alex, you can take a picture, oh. then throw it out. So if you have ah, to go back to very it, smart. you can just look at the pictures. Meanwhile, you're wasting flipping time looking, and now what do I do with it? Where do I put it? How do I file it? And you end up going nowhere. You, you, yeah. Your mental brain just gets stuck in this loop getting nowhere, Absolutely. and that's just double dumb. No, you are completely right. If you need help, if you need the green light from Scott to throw something away or to take a picture of it so you can keep it, the number is 609-488-4646, 609-488-4646. And Scott, obviously, you're not showing up to somebody's house to help them, uh, you know, organize all no, the knickknacks. Not... <laughs> but, you know, people do have financial statements. They got a lot of financial documents. Can you play a role in helping yeah. someone organize that stuff? 
Yeah, it's it's so important to understand where the money is and, of course, where it came from. If you're changing advisors from one advisor to another advisor, maybe you keep a year, a year of uh, uh, documents back. A lot of uh, documents now online. Every most every single company has it. Well, I guess they all have it online with a PDF file. You can save that, put it, categorize it and put it there if you have to have it. Um, Sometimes you need to go back and look at some old trades and some things. Maybe something got messed up. But again, you can have that. But again, sort through that. If you haven't looked at it and touched it, why do you now want to keep going back? Well, it, it, just in case I need to. Okay, well, just in case you need to. Then you file it away and don't look at it again until you need it. And then categorize it for those people who really are so detail-oriented. And there's a lot of smart, beautiful people that way. That's why they call them these people librarians. They have their master's degree. Well, you got to categorize your stuff. But again, the emotional attachment sorting through the belongings you think you got a lot of stuff can be life-changing and, and then of course when you want to downsize it could stop you from downsizing you really got to prioritize yeah what's really important to me now what's important to my family now and what's important to me in the future because i myself is hard to throw away stuff sometimes yeah and i've got books my wife says scott throw away these stupid books you can get them online uh, i just had some good read chapters in there and she, she'll say to me when's the last time you picked up that book well, I won't answer her because she's got me. I'm in a pickle. <laughs> so those those of you, if you got a wife like mine who is a, a lovely, a lovely lady or a husband, maybe a husband, and they're giving you some uh, voices of reason, there's no sense fighting it because you're in a corner and you can't get yourself out of it. Just make a decision and move forward because I can tell you the emotional, the attachment, the belongings mm -hmm. you have and getting rid of it, you're going to get stuck and you can't move forward. Well, and Scott, I'm sure you've seen this before where somebody thinks they have a financial strategy, but what they really have is a pile of statements or a yes. shoebox full of account information. And so this kind of cleanup process can also help unveil, you know, what does the person really have anyways? You know, I, 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 that is so important because when you do, uh, you know, reviews with clients and you meet with people and say, let me find where you're at, you start asking questions, the, the 3D approach, the, the dreams, what you want. And you start asking detailed questions and they find out, you know, Scott, I want to thank you for a second opinion because my financial guy really, really never asked those questions. I said, well, let's, let's dive down deeper because this is important as we talk about their dreams. And we talk about their dreams, which leads to the dollars because we find out that maybe they suffocated their dreams because they don't know where to get the dollars. Or maybe they haven't followed through with their dreams because they didn't have a, a concrete plan. Well, this is really important to discuss this, not on a, a on a uh, 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 every three or four or five years. Are you on your plan? If you're, are you working out? Are you getting stronger? Are you losing weight? Are you watching it? Are you monitoring it? It's the same thing with the finances. Are we moving ahead or not? And Scott, if you would for me, uh, give me that phone number again. And what happens uh, when folks make that call? When people give us a call, you can give our studios a call. 609-488-4646. Ask for Laura. And if you've been listening to my station for over, what, 12, 13, 14 years that Bonnie was here, Bonnie is uh, retired now, moved on to greener pastures, which I, I hate her for because I love her to death. But anyway, she's on to greener pastures. And uh, and so I'm so pleased to have Laura help us for those new people listening to us. She'll help put you in my book. And I love to talk to you. If I'm available right away, she'll put you in. But again, we'll take a 10, 15 minute phone call and get your questions formulated. Write them down. And then what I would encourage you is, what do you want to get out of that phone call? Time is valuable. I want to give you as much meat and potatoes as I can when you ask a question. And if I don't know the answer, I can promise you, I will find the answer or lead you to someone that will help you that answer. And you can get me by 609-488-4646. Again, it's real simple. Give us a call, 609-488-4646. Very simple phone number right here in Weartown, New Jersey, right across the street from Dunkin' or down the street, Dunkin' Donuts and ShopRite. Right here, beautiful area of Weartown, New Jersey. Hey, I look forward to speaking. Don't put this off. Planning is planning. Not planning could be failure, and it could cost you a lot of money. Hmm, absolutely. Well, decluttering and downsizing are a few of the non-financial challenges of preparing for retirement. More to come here on Financial Insanity. 
Who likes uncertainty? Wall Street certainly does not. With near record inflation and partisan politics, there's a lot of uncertainty right now. What will America's future look like? What will your future look like? Will your taxes go up? Will your savings go down? For more than 40 years here in the Jersey Shore area, Scott McLean and the team at McLean Advisory Group have seen uncertainty come and go. No matter what the future holds, Scott can help you create a plan designed to preserve your finances in uncertain times. And it's not a matter of if those uncertain times will show up, but when. Call 609-488-4646 now to meet with Scott McLean and the team at McLean Advisory Group. If uncertainty is causing you to feel insecure, Scott McLean might be able to help. Call 609-488-4646 and schedule your visit today. Again, that's 609-488-4646. Investment advisory services are offered through Sound Income Strategies, LLC. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Retirement planning, investment planning is a two-way street. It's got to meet. I need to understand the good, bad, and ugly you've been through so we can avoid those issues. This, to me, is very important. We made it back. This is Financial Insanity with Scott McLean, presented by McLean Advisory Group. There's so much excitement around starting a brand new phase of life with your retirement. And as we're talking about today... Well, decluttering, downsizing, those are some non-financial challenges of preparing for retirement, but challenges that they are for sure. And retired professor David Eckert wrote the book, Downsizing, talks about just this and the time in life when you have to confront the stuff that we've accumulated over the years. David says, while it is a challenge, he says it's a good feeling to declutter, donate, and downsize. And we studied people in, the, in over 100 households in the Midwest, um, people with large households and people with very modest households. Almost everybody was glad after they moved that they had been able to downsize and they felt very good about what they did. They felt empowered. And you can get that. We all can, right, Scott? I mean, it, it, uh, it's, it, it's scary to tackle all that. But man, when you're on the other side, you got a lot of clarity and you're feeling accomplished. When you get rid of the emotional attachments and you sorting through all your stuff, as we spoke about earlier in downsizing, and this creates a life change, a lifestyle change. So your focus should be focused on what is it going to look like to have a smaller house? How great would it be less mowing the yard for some of you? Maybe it's living out in the country like I do. You know, this uncertainty about the future, that could be exciting for some people. But where it starts really in creating something that you can lean on something like maybe it's a budget or maybe you know where your money's coming from and it's now it's solid in your mind mind how the money is going to be coming out maybe your financial concerns your downsizing could really help save money now you can go out and do more things travel more maybe you your estate planning there's nothing better when I see people, they come into our office, we talk about legacy planning, and now we take care of their will, their power of attorney, their living will, their irrevocable trust, why we want to protect their assets from the nursing homes, put those into different areas. Maybe you're downsizing or you're changing your business. You want to pass your business on to your kids. Putting this off causes more trouble, which as, you're, as you will clearly said, clarity gives you empowerment empowerment moves you forward so now you're moving from this 7000 square foot house or some of you 2000 square foot and you're moving to a smaller house no big deal who cares about that the joneses and the jeffersons they're not paying your bills you are so what greatness how great would it be to have an extra thousand dollars a month of expendable money how great would it be to have an extra three hundred dollars a month for some of you or maybe $2. I don't know what your number is, but when you do your budget, when you do the estate planning and you put your legacy planning, and then we have the end of life. How do we protect all these goodies? We talk about the dreams, the dollars, and the dynasty. We talk about this all. But the biggest problem I've, sa I've said over and over in my book is nothing worse than putting your head in the sand and all have your vitals exposed. What are your vitals? Your assets your money, your families, the estate, probate. You know, the crows and the clowns show up at the funeral. So these are the things that stop you. But what are the things to help you get going? A clear, concise plan 
with looking the future, how great would it be looking down the line where now you're excited about the new move? Think about it with a different mindset. This is where people have the problems where I notice so often the different mindset of moving. And I can tell you we're in America. We can go wherever we want. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, if you'd like to talk about that, maybe you're stuck in the muck and say, how do I make this retirement work? We look at the dollars and then the legacy, but it's about the dream. 609-488-4646. I'd love to speak to you off the air. No cost, no obligation. Um, again, if you'd like to talk about the dynasty, make sure you uh, ask Laura for our, our uh, chapter 11 of my book. We talk about the dynasty, how to set up your estate. 609 488 Four six four six. Now here's the here's the problem. Here's the problem. Don't procrastinate. Give me a call off the air. 609-488-4646. No cost, no obligation, just great information. Absolutely, Scott. And people procrastinate when it comes to well, a lot of things, but with all that stuff in their house, they're putting it off and well, there's just things, Scott, that it's it's tough to procrastinate, and you're gonna you're gonna encourage people not to uh, when it comes to things like creating a budget, legacy planning, into life planning, financial planning in general. These yeah. are all things that people can can put off. And why do people put this stuff off, Scott? It's easy. Yeah, it's easy to put things. You know, it's like uh, you, you 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 everybody wants to lose weight, so they go to the gym for a few weeks until the pain comes on. Ah, the hell, I'm not going to do that again. Screw that. I'm not going working out. That hurts too much. Right. You know, it's easy to think how you see these good, lean, mean people on t TV, and they want you want to get that way, and you visualize that. Oh man, that'd be great until the pain comes in. Well, the question is, you got to work through the pain. No one wants to go through pain. No, none of us. I'm going through the PT through my knee and it's been really, really challenging. You think I want to go to this daggum doctor to make pain? No, I want to walk normal with a stupid limp. You know what? So I'm going to seek out what makes me work out. What's going to make it really comfortable in the long run. Mm -hmm. Short term pain could be a long term of enjoyment. And so for those people putting financial, maybe it's time to change advisors. I don't know. Maybe you want a second opinion. I don't know. Maybe you say, you know what? Am I in the right spot? Maybe it's time to to pick up the phone and just say, let's dial 609-488-4646. Why? Just to get a fresh opinion, a different opinion. Not to say you've got to work with Scott McLean and McLean Advisor Group, but to say, you know what? Are we on track? Because there's a lot of stress methods to put on a portfolio to see if we have another black swan event could that eat your money away? Could there be another drop in the market? Could we be going to war? Could this happen? All these negative things hit your mind and then you end up doing what? Not doing anything. Procrastination is the disaster. So again, no cost, no obligation. Just great information by dialing 609-488-4646. If I can help you, I'm here for you. You know, I guess I've been doing this radio show almost now 15 years now with WBNJ. We're a proud support of them it's a it's a uh, it's an education radio show it's people love it to death i've heard i mean just they love it and i'm so glad to be on it and and uh bill's done a wonderful job in helping our company get the information the education and i can tell you we've never tried to sell people over the phone in person or on any products they just come in and get information if this is a place for you hey this might be the best place ever for your next phase in life that number 609-488-4646, 609-488-4646. And one thing, Scott, is that people just get so emotional as we're talking about downsizing yeah. today, getting rid of stuff. But yes. people have emotional ties to their belongings, to their stuff. And so yes. that can be difficult to to go through it at all or to get rid of stuff. But also, Scott, when it comes to people's finances, I mean, people get very emotional when it comes to financial decisions and and I think, you know, having a person like you come in to help plan and to have that outside voice who doesn't have all that emotion tied to their money can really just help folks um, and not be alone in all this because it can be very overwhelming. You have a few factors. We all do. Factor number one, when you read the book on psychology of investing or psychology of money, which I've read several books, the psychological factors that really stop people the mental condition this is real 
whether it's the obsessive compulsive disorder, or maybe you have the attention deficit disorder, you can't stay focused. This psychological factor can really, really hurt you. This is why maybe get your kids to help come in or maybe your wife or your husband or someone else outside to get a second opinion or get someone else help change your thinking. Psychological, that makes you stop. You have emotional attachment. We're so deeply, and you said it, Alex, so many times, we're so deeply attached to maybe, let's say, our old financial advisor, but he or she maybe have moved on or maybe they only focus on the growth, not income. Or maybe they're not looking at your will, power of attorney, living will. They're not looking at taxes and how the ramification of taxes. And they're only looking at finances. So the emotional attachment to the finances, because you've been with the advisor for so many years, but they haven't looked at the full picture. They didn't take the 3D approach. The 3D approach is so critical on those three areas. And then you think, well, I'm wasting time by making it, getting a second or third opinion. Again, psychological factor, emotional factor, and the fear of wasting someone's time or your time. Well, you know what? If all we have is time in retirement, how are you wasting it or how are you investing it? If you're not investing it, you're you're probably wasting it. And I can tell you in this business now, since 1982, licensed day three, done this for a few years now, I can tell you the the information changed so much from those years to now and the traumatic experience people faced will make decisions different. And so I say that very cautiously for you out there. Had you invested in 1929 to 1950, the market went nowhere. You probably would never want to go in the market because you saw it just take a tank. And those people investing from 1982 to 2000, the market went nothing but up. So the psychological aspect for those people in 1982, get in the market, get in the market. For those people in the market 1929 to 50, stay out of the market. This psychological effect can really traumatize your portfolio because you don't know which brain, you have a devil on one side, an angel on the left. What are you listening to? Let's look at the entire facts because the psychological and emotional attachment could be the fear of wasting your money away and your time. Let's push forward as you're downsizing and really benefit, really benefit you, your spouse, your significant other, your children, your charity by not putting it off. And, and I'd love to help you. 609-488-4646. That was how you get a hold of me. Ask for Laura. Say, Laura, I want to get in Scott's book. I want to have a quick phone call. Let's just have a quick discussion. Uh, no cost, no obligation, just great information. 609-488-4646. I'd love to talk to you guys, and I appreciate the time of you listening to this show. Absolutely. We know that nearly 70% of Americans are missing a written financial plan. But we also know Critical. people without a plan tend to feel less confident about their future. And so just what you're talking about there, Scott, you know, people put this off. It, it's hard to address. Uh, sometimes it's hard to get that real. But then if you don't address it, then you're not going to be confident about your financial future. And so that's why it's so important to come in and get guidance from somebody like Scott. That number again, 609 488 4646 609 488 4646 at a for the website. Well, good stuff. And when we come back, the top five signs you need a new advisor. This is Financial Insanity Out of the Box Thinking for Your Financial Sanity. Stop for a moment and think about this. Do you know how much money in your 401k or IRA is actually yours? Or will the government take a bigger chunk than you thought? Remember, you still might owe taxes on that money, but do you have a plan to help make sure you don't pay more than you should? At McLean Advisory Group, we believe you deserve to keep more of what you've earned, which is why we're here to help you navigate the confusing world of retirement taxes. It's your money. You deserve to know what's at stake. Right now, taxes are historically low, but they won't be this low forever. So call the McLean Advisory Group team today so you don't miss out on this opportunity. 609-488-4646. That's 609-488-4646. You work hard for your money. 
and we'll work just as hard to help you keep it. McLean Advisory Group, 609-488-4646. Investment advisory services offered through Sound Income Strategies, LLC, an SEC-registered investment advisory firm. McLean Tax Advisory Group and Sound Income Strategies are not associated entities. I call it the chicken and the egg. The chicken is the investment, the egg is the dividend. And so when the chicken pops out the eggs, if you don't need the money, let's reinvest the eggs and buy more chickens. Man, that's just an excellent analogy, Scott. This is Financial Insanity with Scott McLean, powered by McLean Advisory Group. Well, if you've been with an advisor for a while and you're thinking about making a change, there are five signs it is finally time to fire your financial advisor, or maybe you're just considering getting a second opinion. We're going to hear about that now. Scott McLean here on Financial Insanity. Thank you so much for joining us. And Scott. Thanks, Alex. Yes, this is one of those times where, you know, maybe somebody's out there thinking, gosh, I don't know if this person is right for me, or maybe they're thinking, I've been hearing about the value of getting a second opinion, and and maybe one of these notes here, or one of these signs will resonate with you. So let's, let's jump into it here, Scott. So the first sign that it could be time to fire your current advisor, they are not acting in your best interest. I know that is so important, Scott. It's really important, Alex. Uh, when I hire a limousine driver to bring me to the airport or bring me somewhere, my best interest is to get there on time, safely, securely, with a nice, smooth, comfortable ride. The challenge is in this volatile market, are they paying attention to it? Or maybe they're acting on their benefit. Let's get the highest rate of return, but that's speeding up and slowing down and speeding up on that limousine. Well, if they're not acting in the best interest, they're not a fiduciary. They're, they're selling products that may have their pocketbook. Are they ethically bound by, as, as we are, as a fiduciary? Are they obligated to really ask lots of deep, concerning questions? I think that's the number one. Are they acting in your best interest out there listening to me? Are they, are, are they just, don't worry, hang in there like they said when I was in the uh, early uh, 80s? hang in there, don't worry, it'll come back. In the year 2000, hang in there, don't worry, it'll come back. That's what they told us to say. Those statements doesn't work when you're in retirement or nearing retirement. So number one is, Alex, is are they really looking at your best interest? Are they asking about your spouse and their health? Asking lots of really come to Jesus, I call it, questions. Are they really getting down in the dirt? Uh, maybe you have a child that's disabled. Are they thinking about that child? How are they going to protect it? Maybe their lights are twinkling. They're getting dementia. Are they listening to your best interest, not just growing the money? That's really important. They're looking maybe at commissions versus really advising. That's really important. Well, and like a, a driver that maybe is getting gas after picking you up as opposed to doing before. They're not acting in your best interest. Like you want an advisor to be thinking about me instead of thinking about yourself. Absolutely. Now, number two here, as we're going through five signs that it could be time to fire your advisor, they dismiss your input. Scott, you wouldn't want that. I don't know anybody uh, in this time. It's time really to leave uh, dismissing the input. Um, I, I think... If I was at Christmas time, if I wanted a new tennis racket, I remember the famous Arthur Ashe tennis racket. I played tennis a lot when I was younger, and I really wanted a tennis racket. Well, if I got a ping pong racket, I wanted a tennis racket. Different, different, different game. You hit the ball across the little fence or the big fence. The question is, did mom and dad dismiss me? And that really makes a challenge for how I feel about things. You didn't listen, mom, dad. Or you didn't listen, Mr. or Mrs. Advisor. You see, with the expertise of asking about the taxes, ask about the legal questions, ask about the financial and investment questions. Maybe you were aggressive a few years ago when the market was taking off, but now it's going down and they don't listen to you because they say, well, it's going to come back. Hang in there. Don't worry. They absolutely didn't listen. And maybe they respond, but they didn't take action. And this is a real problem in the industry today because uh, hopefully the market's come back. It's, it's had a real challenge. I would like, if anybody's out there listening, you'd like a, a little discussion. Let's have a little talk. I'd love to talk to you off the air. Uh, and if you'd like to ask some questions to me, I'd be happy to get a hold of you. You can actually leave it with Bonnie and Bonnie will set up a time to 
have you talk to us off the air at 609-488-4646 because when you hire a financial advisor, not only number one, they were saying not acting in your best interest and number two, are they listening or are they dismissing your input? In other words, maybe you had a child that has to move back in with you because they made a series of bad decisions and they're going through a financial challenge. Okay, that needs to be in the plan. That's why I think these financial plans are good for a short period of time, maybe a month or two, not for a long period of time because life happens. So number one, not acting in best interest. Number two, they dismiss your input. Please, this is important to discuss this, if not on a yearly basis, at least once or twice, maybe four times a year if your life is really changing. Don't let your input get dismissed. Alex, you had number three, yeah, which is really challenging. Uh, Alex, what have you heard? Uh, what was number three, the biggest challenge you've heard? Sure, and what I'll say too is, and this kind of goes uh, two and three, kind of go hand in hand into your point about a person like Bonnie. Bonnie is just such a great asset for you, a tremendous person to work with, to talk to, and uh, just a great person to have in your office and somebody yes, who yes. will never be number three difficult to reach because sure scott you might be in and out of meetings with other fine folks and bonnie is the person in your office to be there to help take those calls and guide clients to you and through the process but number three as far as five signs it could be time to fire advisor they're difficult to reach you know alex that's a wonderful uh choice i was going to bring that up i had different words but your words are much better than mine Difficult to reach. You know, we've actually just hired two more people because our practice is growing, which I'm so, so pleased that it's growing. We get so many of our clients referring us and, and, and not being able to, the number one goal is to take care of our clients. Number two goal is get new business. And of course, we got to get new business, to keep our business going. But luckily, we don't work out of the back of our car. We don't travel to someone's house. We don't, uh, we have to have them come here. I'd lo- I used to do that in the early years of my practice from 1982, 83, 84, uh, and actually stopped doing that in around 1995, 96, where people started coming in. I just could not make my time worthwhile. So if they're working on the back of the car, God bless them. But if they don't have a staff and someone to follow up with the questions, we're trying to train our new staff members to answer a lot of questions because we don't want people hanging out there. Just today, uh, we had the beautiful uh, husband pass away. And we're now discussing with them, okay, with his wife, okay, how do we plan your income? You've just lost your husband's Social Security since yours was higher. He had a pension. Her, his pension dropped down from uh, $1,000 a month to $450 a month. So we have to make that up. We're trying to figure that out. You know what? They need to reach somebody. And that's important. That's why we have to have a staff. So I think that's really important because, you know, again, being in that limousine, you want to be able to communicate with people which way to go, how to get there. They think they know where to go, but maybe you have a different area. So if you can't reach them, they dismiss your impact. They are not acting in your best interest. Well, are they difficult to reach? And this is really, really a challenge I hear. It's almost like you buy a product at the bank thinking the bank's going to protect you. You set it and forget it. And that is not the area because life as a fiduciary, as an advisor, it has a lot of different segments, which is legal, tax, and finance. Well, and if you want to reach Scott, you can at 609-488-4646. Again, the number 609-488-4646. Going through five signs, it could be time to fire your advisor. Number one, they're not acting in your best interest. Number two, they dismiss your input. Number three, they're difficult to reach. Number four, Scott, they don't give you the details. Now, I don't want all the details, but heck, if I'm giving you some of my money or a lot of my money, I I would like to kind of know what's going on and and what you're doing with it and not have it be a bunch of mumbo jumbo. You know, whether they're investing uh, uh, $5,000 or $500,000 or a million dollars, each person is not, Alex, a cookie cutter. Now, when I say cookie cutter, Alex, what that means for those of you listening, let's say you have mutual funds and you bought what's called target date mutual funds. They, they call it the 2020 
2025, 2030. In other words, when are you going to retire and say, well, I'm going to retire in 2035. Okay, you click it, set it, forget it. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not good. You need to really pay attention to those areas uh, because you really, they got to dig down for more details as to how much do you want to pull out? If it's for income, do we want money for our special needs child? What happens if you become disabled? These are question, in-depth questions that could lead down the estate planning role, which we do at our firm. I think you know that, Alex. We, we do that really. We got great, great people. Maybe they have uh, other types of investment tools they didn't tell us about or didn't tell the advisor about. They need to pull that in, which we did just the other day, or they had an extra $30,000, which didn't change their life, but they said, oh, Scott, by the way, we have an extra 30000 Great. Let's put that over here. You take care of it. Go put it in a 3% account at Ally Bank if you wish to use them. Great liquid. But again, people's details are so important. Most of the times what I find, Alex, is if I don't ask the questions, they may for not even remember to ask. Or if I don't ask diving deep questions, by the way, who does your money go to? Oh, you want to make sure it's protected because your daughter has a spendthrift problem? Well, maybe we need a spendthrift trust because if she gets it all at once, she's going to blow it. Or maybe your son is married to a, uh, a person, a woman, a man that they don't like, and you want to protect that money from that person. Maybe we need to have that discussion. Again, this is a time to for the advisor that I hope if before you advise them, are they asking you really deep down, I call it intimate questions, intimate meaning intimately about your finances to make sure you preserve your money. The money goes to the right place. And today's could be different than two years from now. So again, a tight lip will, you know, uh, will sink a ship. Well, could it sink a ship if you know there's a hole in it? Well, let's go tell the captain we got a problem. So again, I'm not sure what you guys are doing out there listening. That's right. You right now that are listening to me, you got to give all the information out there. They're not asking. That's why when I wrote the book, The Three Blind Mice, how the financial planning process leads your money to a mousetrap, I bring up 11 different flags that pop up. And uh, for those of you listening right now, if you'd like to get a copy of my book, I'd love to get it in your hands uh, any way possible. Just give Bonnie a call because these are some questions that Alex brought up the five different areas. Number one, not acting in your best interest, fire him or your advisor. Number two, they dismiss your input. They're not listening, trying to have their own agenda, not your agenda. And by the way, your agenda may change as we just spoke. Number three was they're difficult to reach. And lastly, well, number four is they don't give you clear or all the details, but there's one more. One more, Scott. Us in. There's one more that's really, really, really important that ties it all together. Alex, what was that number five? I think that you found well, when you speak to your mom and dad and other advisors, uh, families. Absolutely. We got just a couple minutes left. We want to go over the last one, and this one's important. And for you, uh, it's something that's easy. You're a people person. You're a social guy. You're easy to get along with, and you want to get Thank to you. know people. Um, and this is the last one. So five signs it could be time to fire your advisor or the last one, they don't take the time to get to know you. Why is that important, Scott? Guys, listen, if you're listening to me right now, if you invest any money, any money with an advisor, the first time you meet them, you need to run. If they beg you for money, you need to run. You need to get to know them, know their personality, their role. It just may not be a good fit. And if you're a married, have a special uh, partner, you know what? You guys need to talk about it on your own. I would do no business with anybody. I tell it to clients when they come visit me, Alex. We will not do business today. I want to get to know you. I want to know if I can help you. I want to know if we're a good fit, a good fit for our firm and a good fit for you. Because if, if something happens to you, I need to know how our firm can best serve you. So they don't take time to get to know you. You need to get your questions written, not just are you a fiduciary, that's important, please. 609-488-4646. This was again, the, the top subjects, the top area that people wanna make a shift in their advisors, it's time to look at them. Number one, they're not acting in your best interest. Number two, they dismiss your input. Number three, they're difficult to reach, very important. Number four, they don't give you the details. They need to give you all the details and lastly, 
really don't take time to get to know you. This could be a wonderful time to get another opinion. This radio program may contain information which has gone regulatory or other significant changes since its original recording. The information and views expressed on today's show is educational in nature and is not intended to be a recommendation for any specific investment, product, strategy, plan, tax, or legal advice. Information presented is believed to be factual and up to date, but we do not guarantee its accuracy. Investment advisory services offered through Sound Income Strategies, LLC, a SEC registered investment advisory firm. McLean Advisory Group and Sound Income Strategies, LLC, are not associated entities. This radio show is a paid placement. Who likes uncertainty? Wall Street certainly does not. With near record inflation and partisan politics, there's a lot of uncertainty right now. What will America's future look like? What will your future look like? Will your taxes go up? Will your savings go down? For more than 40 years here in the Jersey Shore area, Scott McLean and the team of McLean Advisory Group have seen uncertainty come and go. No matter what the future holds, Scott can help you create a plan designed to preserve your finances in uncertain times. And it's not a matter of if those uncertain times will show up, but when. Call 609-488-4646 now to meet with Scott McLean and the team at McLean Advisory Group. If uncertainty is causing you to feel insecure, Scott McLean might be able to help. Call 609-488-4646 and schedule your visit today. Again, that's 609-488-4646. Investment advisory services are offered through Sound Income Strategies, LLC. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal.